Of course, attaching your iPad to the TV with an HDMI dongle isn't the most elegant solution, so Apple has beefed up the Apple TV and AirPlay functionality within the iPad 2, which allows you to stream uh, not only videos, but photos, and pretty soon there's going to be websites and apps that are optimized or better optimized for the AirPlay experience. I'm going to show you a couple of quick examples. So this is the same episode of Fringe that we just had outputted via the HDMI adapter, and now it's going to go wirelessly to the Apple TV, which is connected to the Samsung set. So there was a little bit of a lag at the beginning, but the quality is quite good. And, you know, so video isn't the only thing that you can do with AirPlay. So we'll back out of this, go to the main menu, start playing some music. We'll go to the Apple TV. And as you can see here in the bottom left-hand corner, it shows you the album art and who's playing which is a pretty nifty feature. And what we can do on the iPad, even while we're playing music, is fire up a slideshow. So the Apple TV can handle two simultaneous connections from the, Apple, from the iPad too. So pretty impressive for something so thin.